Hello everyone. Welcome to the video series of application identification. In this video, we will discuss concept of application override. We will be using same topology to test application override functionality. As you know, in case of Palo Alto firewall, if security pre-policy says traffic is allowed at layer 3 and layer 4, it goes to layer 7 and firewall try to identify the application in the payload. With the help of application override, we can force the firewall not to inspect the traffic at layer 7. In that case, it will be inspected at layer 3 and layer 4 only. So why, why such feature is required? So that's the main thing we need to understand. For example, you have a, for example, you have a, a homegrown application for which Palo Alto doesn't have a signature. So either you have to create a signature if you have a skill set or you need to ask Palo Alto to create a signature on your behalf. But for that, you need to purchase professional services. And now for assume, uh, for some time you want firewall to inspect the traffic at layer 3 and layer 4 only till the time your signature is ready. So you can have this policy application override and then in that case firewall will just inspect the traffic at layer 3 and layer 4 it will not go up to layer 7. So let's see how we can implement this. So go to follow to firewall. In objects click on add. We will be doing a test with exploit db. So I have given the name as exploit. So in the logs I should see this signature has triggered. Category could be anything based on your uh, requirement. So I have selected general internet, internet utility and then uh, browser based for example. Go to advanced, click on port and tcp443 because this application is on HTTPS. So no, nothing in signature because we don't want application signature to be created at layer 7. So just layer 3, layer 4 information. So click on OK. Go to policies. Select application override and click on add. Name this policy as exploit DB. Source traffic will come from test PC and the network from which traffic will come is 136. One second, 136, 1, 123. Let me correct this. One second. Yes, 123. But we'll go to address and destination address could be anything. 443. And application is exploit DB. Okay. So we have right security policy, we have right uh, NAT policy in place already. So click on commit. And once we will access exploitdb.com, we should see this signature triggers. So that means firewall is not inspecting traffic at layer 7. Firewall is inspecting traffic at layer 4 basically. Based on port number it decides which signature to trigger. Let's wait for this policy to be pushed. It's on 55%, few more seconds. And then we will go to the test machine to browse exploit DB. So click on close, almost done. So I'm on my test machine and type exploit db.com. So interesting site. Uh, this is a site maintained by offensive security so this site has got a, a big database of known exploits and most of them are verified by the offensive security team now go to the monitor tab and if you see the first log it says traffic from 136 1, 123 105 destination just one ip address and then application triggered is for exploit DB. So best way would be if you have IP address for example you can specify in application override the specific destination IP address. I did specify any but the right lab should be with the destination IP address is the specific application IP address so that for that traffic only it will not go to layer 7.
for that specific traffic inspection will happen at only layer 3 and layer 4. So that's all for this video. Thank you very much. I hope you are enjoying video series from Troika system.